Welcome back to Wealthy Mentor Trading, guys. Today is April the 24th, 2022, and today I'm going to be discussing five stocks reporting earnings this week that has a major impact on the market going forward. But before we get started, guys, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you are interested in trading with us at Wealthy Mentor Trading on our Discord channel, we do have a two month $99 promo going on right now. And all the names that are being discussed today are part of the group, right? So we do have day trading names. We do have options call outs along with swing trading watch lists and analyst upgrades and breaking news for whatever comes in with current events. So if you are interested in that, click the link in the description. That should take you forward to the page to check out that. With that being said, I do have the SPX chart here, the S&P 500. And as you guys can see here, this is the weekly time frame. And pretty much we got a rejection at $4,500. And this is a bearish candle, right? Closing at the very bottom here to close out the week uh, towards that 4260 area. And it is a continuation pattern downward downwards right so essentially what i was looking at was this dead cat bounce we did have three straight green weeks and as you guys can see here a big long wick representing buyers being rejected at that 4600 dollar area which is the third time right one two and three which was the most recent three weeks ago and we have retraced completely almost right now towards that 4200 dollar area where we bounced off last time so for me going into next week again I am targeting that $4,200 area to see if buyers do step in once again. If not, we could potentially drop even lower to $4,165 and $4,115, where we did wick down here back on February the 22nd, 2022. So again, the market is bearish right now, and much of the names that are reporting earnings this week are the tech names. And the tech department it has been bearish, right, along with the semiconductor sector, and um, what can I say? The names right now that I'm going to be talking about are also in a bearish posture. So if we do receive a bomb on those earnings, we could definitely see this market going down to that $4,200 area and below. Uh, to the upside, what are my thoughts? I want to get above $4,400 at the very least. As you guys can see here, we have this long wick and we close below it. So essentially what you want to do to negate this pattern is get above that $4,400 area. And essentially, once that does happen, close above $4,450 on the weekly chart. So I don't see that happening right now. We're going to have to have blowout earnings on these names that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, names like Amazon, Google, Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft, all big names reporting. So these do definitely have the ability to sway the market. And it does have a huge impact on the market going forward, right? So if we have a bomb on these earnings, you could definitely see ourselves even sinking even lower down to 4,000. So it's a, it's a big week for us um, in the market. And these names definitely have the ability to sway the markets. All right. And with that being said, I am going to switch over here to the watch list name. And the first name that is important to me that is reporting earnings is Microsoft. And Microsoft is slated to report earnings on Tuesday. So Basically, what I'm looking at right now is that 280 area to 316. So we have been stuck into this channel for pretty much the whole year. And we did close the week bearish, right? Finally breaking below that 280 area. And it has been a long time, right? So it's been since July 2021, as you guys can see here, that we held on, pushed to the new highs. And recently this year, we have been holding on to that 280 area, closing above it. Unfortunately, Friday was a different story and we did close below it. And for me, what I'm looking at on an earnings bomb is a 262 area. All signs point to that area being touched and it is a key area of support. As you guys can see here, previous resistance back on April the 21st, 2021, now turns to support, right? So I am looking for a bounce at that 262 area. Um, the technical show that it is bearish. We have broke the trend. Uh, on Friday, underneath that 280 area, and all signs point to 262 being tested once more. Uh, on the upside, analysts do see an 18% rise in revenue, along with a possible buyout of the video game maker Activision for $75 billion. So that is some positivity going into earnings for Microsoft. 
However, as a technical analyst, I'm looking at this chart right now, and to me, it is a continuation pattern downward. So I'm definitely targeting 262 as an area where bulls need to step in and guard it. And if they don't, we could potentially see ourselves going even lower, 238. So Microsoft does hold a lot of weight in the S&P 500, so it definitely is one of those names that's going to set the tone early going into the week, right? They do report earnings on Tuesday, so it could have a trickle effect down to the other names that are reporting, such as Google, Facebook, Apple, and Amazon. So first things first, we got to get Microsoft in a bullish stance. And to me, the best case scenario for Microsoft is to com continue to trend between that 280 to 316 area, as we did see a breakdown, but you know, earnings can push it right back up and we can trend sideways for pretty much the whole year and wait for the next earnings that rep Microsoft reports at. So to me, I am targeting 280 and below and 262 seems just about right to me. Um, previous resistance turns to support. So I am expecting 262 to hold and some sideways action and pretty much a continuation power pattern downwards to 238 towards the end of the year. All right, so that is Microsoft and my personal take, I am bearish. Next name is Google, G-O-O-G-L. Here is Google and they do report earnings on Tuesday. And if you guys are looking at this chart, it's pretty much similar to Microsoft's chart, right? So again, breaking trend below 2,500 to me was bearish. We did close even below 2,433. And, you know, again, much of the tech names do look like this and Google, you know, could potentially push down all the way to 2,200. And analysts are expecting Google's profits also to fall slightly amid uh, a tough year earlier in comparisons, right? So previous years in comparison to this year, um, they're not gonna meet those demands and those expectations. So all signs point to the technicals going lower, right? I am looking at that $2,200 area and essentially that 2146 area. That zone right here is a magnet to me, but first things first, I wanna see if we can hold this 2337 zone. So if we can hold that, we could potentially bounce here and then retest 2500. But essentially, even if we do do that, we test 2500, we will trickle down to 2200 sooner or later, right? The trend has been broken here and that was this $2,500 line. We've been holding this pretty much all year. As you guys can see, multiple touches closing above 2,500. Unfortunately, last week was a different story and we are heading lower. So I am expecting Google to miss on their earnings to touch this 2,337 area and momentarily head down to 2,200 to test that key support zone, which hasn't been tested since February, 2021. So it's been a long time, right? Pretty much retracing this whole up move during this COVID push up. So much like the tech names, Google is similar in the way how it looks. All right. So analysts are looking at a tough year and are comparing it to previous years and they just don't see that uh, being a comparison right now. So we are heading lower. <clears throat> Another name, Facebook. FB is a ticker and Facebook has been beaten up pretty badly, right? Again, much like the other tech names, a complete retracement from the highs at two, 384. And here, you know, closing the week below $200 to me, not holding that psychological $200 support screams bearish altogether. And we are in an area where we could potentially head down to these COVID lows at 180 and 137, right? Here we are. Here is the COVID lows that bounce at that 137 area, and we're off to the races, right? A complete retracement to the means, and that, to me, looks like that 160 area for key support. Now, overall, uh, analysts are expecting profits to drop to $7.7 .7 billion as the company continues to invest in its metaverse initiatives. So, uh Facebook is going through this whole transition with the whole metaverse. So analysts will be listening for more about the company's metaverse vision and reasons to turn around the stock because it has declined 45% year to date. And the technicals just show a complete retracement to the pandemic lows and that $160 area. So to me and my opinion, I am looking at 160 on uh, another 
another fail on their earnings, right? So I am looking at 160 going into next week. And potentially if we drop even lower 137, which was the bounce area where, you know, during the pandemic, we dropped down to, okay? Now to the upside, the best case scenario is to get above that $200 area and trend all the way up to that 230 to 245. As you guys can see here, it is strong resistance right here. And it was clear support. So now that we've dropped below that area, previous support now turns to resistance to the upside. So that to me still does not change the trend. Even if we were to beat earnings, we would still be below, be below that 245 area. And even if we do head higher, it is a continuation pattern downwards. And I fully expect us to hit 160 on Facebook. All right, my take bearish. Another name that is key that is reporting earnings on Thursday. It is Apple. A A P L is the ticker. And Apple, you know, out of all the names, it has held the strongest. And to me, it is one of those indicators where you want to look at if you want to see if the S and P 500 is going down. So we've already had a bounce here at that 150 area back on March March 20. March 7th, 2022, and that was the low for the year. As you guys can see here, we've had another bounce in February where we held that area. And to me, it is one of those names, again, that is another continuation pattern downwards. And I am expecting Apple to get down to 150 and test that area once more. Now, Apple is expected to, to see profits fall slightly to $23.3 billion from previous year's period and the pandemic boosted results. So again, a revision to the means, just like the other tech names and the technical show a uh, potential retracement down to 150, as I mentioned. Now, if we cannot hold 150, since we've held it a few times here, I do have targets of 144 and 138, as you guys can see in this highlighter color. And, you know, um, Apple has held pretty well. So definitely first thing you want to look at is a hold of that 157 area. And if we can't hold that, that's your first, you know, major signal right there that you're potentially and most likely going to head to test that 150 area once again. Now to the upside, I do want to see us back above that 168 area. But unfortunately, even if we do touch that 168 area, it does not negate the downtrend that we are in, right? So again, much like the tech names, we could potentially see a pop to the upside, but eventually we are going to head lower and test these levels of 150, 144, and 138, right? So 144 and 138 has major support here, guys, right? So back on 2020, right here, again, 2021 and the breakout finally on June 2021 where we tested all-time highs on that break of 144. So definitely look at 150 as your first target and if we see continued weakness 144 and 138 are, are your targets number two and three if you are buying puts to the downside. Okay one last name that is reporting earnings on Thursday that is pretty big, and that is Amazon. AMZN is the ticker. And again, here is the weekly candle chart. And as you guys can see, we did close the week bearish. Again, testing that 2882 area, and that is key for me. You know, we've closed many times above this line right here. You know, we wick down, closed above it, wick down, closed above it, wick down, and closed above it. And right now, we, we closed Friday's session just right at that area right now. So for me, I am looking for a continuation pattern downwards, just like the other names that I've discussed at that 2721 zone as my first take profit target to the downside if you are buying puts. And 2623 is that next area. As you guys can see here, we've had one wick, two wick buyers stepping in. So again, Amazon. You know, analysts are expecting to show its quarterly profit fall almost 46% to $4.39 billion after the pandemic era burst. Much like Apple, it is going to head lower. Technicals do show a potential retracement all the way down to 2700 zone. So as I mentioned, these two areas are very key for me to see if buyers do step in, much like they have all year long. So that area is key. So definitely watch Amazon head down to 2700 
And if there's no bounce at 2700, we have 2623 as the second profit, take profit target area, and 2550. As you guys can see, it was the launching point here back on May 2020. So it's been a long time, and we could potentially test these levels once again, finally breaking out of this zone right here from 2800 all the way to 3275. So it is at a critical time and earnings is the perfect catalyst to drop us even lower. So definitely watch Amazon um, set the tone on Thursday as they are reporting their numbers then. All right, guys. So those are five stocks are reporting earnings this week that will definitely impact the market. As I mentioned, Amazon has fallen 46%, 4.39 billion after the pandemic era burst. So analysts are expecting a downfall on them. Apple, again, they are expected to see its profit fall slightly down to $23.3 billion from its prior year's periods, pandemic boost results. And Facebook, what can I say? They're transitioning into this whole metaverse. So analysts are watching and waiting to see what Facebook has to say and what their plans are moving forward. But in the meantime, I do see a drop down to 160 Google, again, reporting earnings on Tuesday. Another major name. Cannot hold that $2,500 area last week. And me, the technical scream bearish all the way to $2,200. And the first name that I discussed, Microsoft, that is going to set the tone early on as they do have a hold, a long hold, a weight of the S&P 500. They do weigh a lot of that through Microsoft. And they are reporting earnings on, their on Tuesday, right? So cannot hold 280 which was bearish. It is an area that has held since July 2021, and it's been a long time. So again, another name showing its true colors going down and dropping below that key area. So again, guys, all these names, honestly, I am very bearish on them. And it all sets the tone on the S&P 500 for us to drop to that $4,100 area and below. So it is a big week, and this week can definitely set the tone for the markets for the whole year. So definitely pay attention to these names, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of you guys watch the channel but have not subscribed. Actually, the majority of people that do watch this and view these videos, only 10 to 15% of them are subscribed. So guys, there's a lot of unsubscribed people out there. So please hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, the videos. And also, if you are interested in trading with us on Discord at Wealthy Mentor Trading, we do have that $99 promo. So don't be shy and hit us up. All right. Thank you so much and good luck trading.